everybody. Today is October 26, 2014, and it's usually about this time of year that AVG rolls out its yearly updates. It actually does um, two updates in a year. You have the summer update, and you have the update for the next year. In this example, we'll be going from AVG 2014 to AVG 2015. Basically, any time the AVG rolls out a big update like this, it does it through like an installation utility. And I have found that sometimes that it actually likes to um, try to sneak you into a 30-day free trial of AVG Internet Security. You know, saying that it's free and you can um, you can always downgrade later. Well, you can, but you have to go um, search deep on Google for a um, tool to do that. So, anyways, it's going to show you how to avoid that altogether. So anyways, we, here we have the um, AVG 2015 installer. So I'm going to set the camera down and walk you through this. So anyway, what you would do here is you would just um, accept the license terms. Now notice how it has this radio, you know, you know this, this thing here um, selected. Ultimate protection. Now, if I just click next, you know, most people, um, you know, they just go next, 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 install. They don't pay much of any attention to what they're clicking. And, like I mentioned, you know, um, well, I didn't mention, actually, um, I deploy AVG antivirus free on all the computers I work on, like if you refurbish computers, or if somebody brings in a computer that has expired antivirus or no antivirus at all, I deploy AVG free on it. And there have been a couple of times where I've gotten phone calls or people brought their computers to me saying, um, AVG is asking me to buy their product, you know, and, and you shouldn't do that because it's free. Turns out when the um, the yearly, you know, the um, semi-annual update was rolled out, they un they unsuspectingly clicked Ultimate Protection and Next and installed a free trial for AVG and virus <laughs> um, internet security. So we're going to select Basic Protection. Not Ultimate, but Basic Protection. Now it certainly doesn't do this when you're actually installing a product, it just does it when you're upgrading to, to, to um, you're doing the um, um, semi-annual updates. Click next. <clears throat> and just so you know, when you install AVG Antivirus Free, which it didn't actually um, ask me this time, but um, when you go to install it, you actually should choose custom install and uncheck the three options for like you know the AVG secure search, the security toolbar and you know all that mess and of course that's after you um, I think it's after you select basic protection and then of course you click next you get that and then click next again then you'll uncheck link scanner and identity I personally use McAfee Site Advisor in place of link scanner because Site Advisor seems to be a lot more accurate with um, detecting bad sites from good sites um, and the reason why I don't install AVG antivirus free identity protection is because there's been times before where it literally prevented Windows Explorer from loading at startup and that's not a good thing so anyways um, this is just one general thing to keep in mind when you get the semi-annual updates rolled out from AVG be careful read what you're clicking because you do want free correct you Install an AVG free um, without expecting to have to pay for anything. And it should stay that way. <laughs> so, anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.